Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and welcome back to another realistic adventure out here at the Outback Overlanding map. Now, this map, since we were last out here, has been updated again, and more visual add-ons have been added to the map. The map has been expanded once again. The town that you first spawn in at has also been expanded. It's been filled out. There's a lot more stuff here to see, and the world feels that much more alive. Now, we've come out here with the Land Cruiser Prado from F19 mods. This is a console friendly vehicle, by the way. We've equipped it with a six inch lift, some 37 inch tires, and we're going to go ahead and get this thing out onto the trails and see what kind of adventures we can get ourselves into. Now, let's go ahead and set off, and we're going to go directly to the right, right out of the garage, and we're going to see if we can find our first trail without having to pull up the map. Because I think, oh wow, okay, that, that, I mean, I'll admit, I looked at the map before I started, but that, wow, that wasn't difficult. All right, so let's go ahead and actually lock you in low plus so we can turn on the lockers right off the bat because I have a feeling that going up this, we might end up needing them. Right from the get-go, though, the realism factor is already tip-top. Oh, boy. Come on. Dude, let's go! I love the way these trails are laid out. Oh, we're actually... Well, I was gonna say we were struggling a little bit. We weren't really struggling. We were just kind of, like, trying to figure out the, the right line. Come on, we're a little wedged at the moment. Gonna need to bump that ledge a tad. Come on. Or not. Okay, alright. Let's see. Maybe we need a slightly different approach. Let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the left. And then cut back to the right. I don't know. Does that count as cheating the obstacle? I don't think it does. I think that was just getting creative with my line. I don't think that was cheating the obstacle. You let me know in the comments down below. Now, if y'all haven't spent a lot of time on this map or haven't checked it out at all, dude, you absolutely should. This map will basically pull you in and keep you engaged for up to like hours on end. The reason for that is because this map does an incredible job at making you feel like you're really there. It does an incredible job of making you feel like you're on your own adventure out on these trails. And if you play this map in multiplayer, it gets even better. Come on, lumber over the rocks, let's go. But it really does put you into that mindset and headspace where you feel like you are on an actual off-road adventure. And especially if you're off-roading with friends, oh my god, it is so, like, insanely believable feeling. Let's just ease it over this edge, just very carefully. And not bad. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the lockers are on going through this mud pit. Gonna try to not have to winch. I'm gonna hang out near the edge ever so slightly. But if, you know, if I do end up having to winch, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Now, let's see. I think I'm gonna take the right-hand fork here. Keep that momentum. Keep that momentum. Come on, Land Cruiser. Let's go. Oh, dude, there it is. That was so sick. Momentum is the name of the game with trails like this sometimes, and especially vehicles like this, especially, like, IFS vehicles where you can't always take the optimal, like, crawler lines. You gotta line up that momentum and go. Oh, my diffs are starting to overheat just a little bit. Come on, there we go. Not anymore, though. Again, gotta keep that momentum going. Uh-oh. A little bit hung up on the slider. Let's see... Here we go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Just gotta ease it around. Or not. Oh, we high-centered the thing. We actually high-centered it really bad. Can I ease it off? Okay, maybe we can. Let me see if I can bump it over this one without high-centering. I should be able to. Yep, just enough wheelbase to do that. We've banged up the rear bumper a little bit, but not enough to where it's an issue. There we go. Thing absolutely just moves out. Oh, forgot to turn the lockers off again. 
Now, this part of the trail actually leans over to the right a lot more than you might think. And when the trail leans over a lot more than you think it does, it's very easy to, well, slide a lot further off the trail than you planned on. Just trying to keep my momentum going. Again, as long as you can keep your momentum going, you'll be in a pretty good spot. You just got to make sure that that momentum doesn't let up. There you go. Now, we've been on this trail before, and this spot is one of those, like, pull over and take a picture kind of spots, you know? Absolutely it is. Here, let's get a little bit further on up and see what this view looks like. Let's see if we can drive up here onto this little outcropping of rock. Back it up. And got to make sure that the wheel is pointing the correct direction before we drive out here. Dude, look at that view. Holy crap. What do you think of that view, Beans? It's pretty gnarly, huh? Pretty wild. All right, let's go ahead and throw it back into reverse and get back onto the main trail. And now that we're, like, actually stopped for a moment, let's also fix the body damage because, well, it was kind of about time and I was ready to not have a dented rear bumper anymore. That's not to say that we won't end up with another dented rear bumper soon, but, oh, we probably have a dented front bumper now. Yeah, we do. All right, we're actually hanging on the bumper. Oh, that's precarious. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God, this is bad. There you go. Ease it around. Well, that was almost absolutely terrible, but we managed to pull our way through that. I'm kind of shocked that we managed to pull our way through that without it being catastrophic, because that was very close to being genuinely catastrophically bad. Let me throw it into automatic mode, because we're not using the lockers right now. And, uh, we got that same exact dent in the rear bumper again. I might just leave it there this time, because we fixed it, and it literally came right back, like another 10 feet down the trail. So, maybe I shouldn't be worrying that much about the dent in the rear bumper, you know? Alright, oh my god, can you not just bury the front bumper every time you see a rock, please and thank you? Although that's probably due to, you know, me approaching obstacles a bit quicker than I probably should. But don't worry about that, it's fine. It's completely 100% fine. Ow, didn't realize the drop was that big. I really didn't actually, I had no idea that the drop off was that big. Easing it over, good god, dude. Every time it bounces, it's just like, holy smokes. You just got to be really careful. All right, I'm going to put it in low plus and just ease our way down this hill. I know low plus doesn't seem like easing it down, but it's a lot slower than we'd be going in automatic. Automatic, we'd be flying, and we really don't want to fly down a hill like this. We would end up with a crap ton of damage that we really don't want or need. What do you say we bomb this mud pit in high? I say we do it and see how far we can go. Three, two, one, let's go! Come on! Oh, oh! Well, that didn't last very long. How about low plus with lockers? That's a little better, but still... Yo, whose camper is that? I don't remember that camper being there before. Did y'all do y'all remember that camper being there? Because I sure as heck don't. That camper, it has got to be new. At least it feels like it's got to be new. Or maybe that's just me and I'm going absolutely nuts. That could also be the case. Alright, let's go ahead and bump it back in automatic, throw it in high, and yeet! Come on! Just absolutely ripping it up this hill. Oh, oh, oh! Keep that wheel speed going, though. All right, slow back down. Slow back down. Let's see. Oh, we're definitely going to need the lockers for this. I tried to see if we could get through with the lockers off, and it was really unhappy about it. But see, those are obstacles that, you know, in the real world, that would be an obstacle that you would actually kind of think about your your line and your approach. In, you know, for a lot of maps in SnowRunner or and a lot of vehicles, you would look at an obstacle like that and be like, meh, no big deal. But like in the real world, that would be an obstacle that you would actually, 
you know, kind of think about. And the cool thing about driving this Land Cruiser Prado is that it does have enough of that real world influence that even on obstacles that are smaller like that, it still makes you think about your line. It still makes you think about your approach. It still makes you think like, hey, I need to make sure that I stop turn my lockers on, approach it from this angle so I can flex out the suspension this way, and then I can ease myself back off of it so I don't tip over. It really makes you think about it on a much more analytical basis, which is really cool. Oh, I know where we're at now. Yes, I know where we're at now. This is the spot where we started our adventure in the 80. All right, let's actually diff lock on. Well, it is now. Little bit of a river crossing, actually super muddy. All right, now this is gonna be an interesting climb because it's wet, it's muddy, it's slick. We had a terrible line. Ease it around, there we go. Oh, 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 come on. Dude, that thing just ripped up that hill. All right, well that actually did a lot better than I thought it was going to. Oh, gotta turn the lockers back off again. Lockers were not doing too hot. Come on, there we go. Hey, you know what? I am I am definitely feeling this though. Like this turned out to be an epic adventure. Absolutely epic adventure. Now, when we came out here in the 80, I believe we turned right right here. In this, I think we're going to stay left cuz I have no idea where this goes. Absolutely no clue. Can we kind of like straddle that gap? Uh kind of. Oh, that's like, that's actually a really sick looking photo, too. Drop it down. Not bad, dude. Not bad at all. Oh, this thing just moves out, though. Absolutely moves out. I am so, so impressed with this thing. Even with the lockers off, it still gets down. Come on. Ooh, ow, ow. That was a big hit to the underside of the engine. God, thankfully we have skid plates, because if we didn't have those, we'd be in deep doo-doo right now. Oh, easy. That doesn't look like too bad of a hill climb. Let's see. Let's see if we can power across this river in high. A little bit. Oh, come on. Yep, there we go. Keep that momentum going. Oh, dude, absolutely sending it, though. Come on. Up and over? Oh, wow. What an absolute beast of a rig. It's just cruising now, dude. It's absolutely just cruising through here. Holy smokes. Okay. This thing, I mean, I know that I said previously that I love driving this thing, but like the level of the level of enjoyment that I get out of driving it like just goes up even more every time I drive it again or every time I take it on a new adventure. It really does. Bringing it on down. There she goes. All right. Now let's see what we got going on up here. Now there's a little bit of a trail split which I wasn't really expecting and it looks like there's also or there's another trail split to the right. And a... Whoa! Oh my god. Do we dare? Ooh! That's terrifying. Uh... Low lockers on. Um... Well... This might be the end. If it's the end, then, uh... Well, it was nice knowing, y'all. Actually, we're not doing too bad. God, I thought the mud in here was gonna be, like, you know as deep as, like, a massive mud pit would have been. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be, although it's also not, like, it's not great either. Can you imagine climbing up out of that? Look how freaking steep that is. That is so insanely steep. Oh, my God. All right, let me see if I can grab just a little bit of extra traction over here. Okay, not bad. Now, does this cross the river or go to, like, the left or right? What the heck? Oh, okay. So it goes either to the right or to the left. This one kind of goes to the left. There's also a little highlighted thingy. What the heck is that? There's a highlighted thingy over there. What? But why? 
What is that even supposed to be? I didn't know that there was anything like that on this map yet. Is that supposed to be a task? Or, a, like, a watch point? If that's a task... Oh my god, it's a task? What? Uh, dangerous water level. Yeah, you don't say. God, even with my snorkel, that's a pretty dangerous water level. Alright, so it looks like there's a stranded truck right there. I bet you that's what this task... The ANK is in all the way. Yeah, it's, it's in there, alright. And now this keeps going up to the right. And apparently, there's also a watchtower nearby. But we may uh, discover that in a future episode. But if y'all enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all next time.